Hello YouTubers, today I got a 820-01949-A board. This is a 82551. So this one came in as basically customer said that they did have a, a freight uh, charger port cord. But the computer doesn't boot. So I have the board out of the computer. And if we plug in the amp meter, it, all it draws is like five volts. It'll turn on for a second. Let me plug the actual charger in here. So it does five volts and shuts off. Five volts, it's like it's wanting to start. So it doesn't even try to go to 19 volts or nothing, it just keeps doing that. And it'll do that on all the ports on both sides. So that's basically kind of telling me that there's a short somewhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the board under a microscope. I mean, this, this computer's clean. It doesn't have no water damage or nothing. So let's take a look under the microscope. So we're under the microscope, we're just going to look at all the components, see if we can see anything that pops out at us. You know, these capacitors are crap, I believe. These have a tendency to short. But you can see when they bulge. Apple uses some crappy capacitors. I mean, I don't got nothing popping out at me. Let's inspect the other side of the board. I mean, 
everything looks clean by CD32. Seventeens. crooked there, solder in that part. Yeah, nothing's popping at me yet. Capacitor looks a little funny right there. It's a little different on the colors there. Alright, this looks suspicious right here. You guys can see it. That capacitor right there. See how that capacitor looks a little color on the side there? Doesn't seem to be look like cracked or anything. Let's zoom in on it. See how the, diff the color on it looks like it's got a lot of heat or something, or it's conducting a lot of heat. See, it doesn't look like it's... Oh yeah, it's cracked. Kind of see that little outline? There's a crack going this way, a little crack going this way. Can't really get that on camera. Wow, that'd be crazy if it's just that one guy. Let's see what that capacitor is. Let's look it up. Alright, that capacitor is going to be C9001. That's PP... 3B3 G3 SSDO line. So that's one of the capacitors on that rail of capacitors. So let's check that out on the board view software. 
the schematic. All right, so we're gonna look at the board view. So I'm pull up the board view software. You can get this at uh, Paul Daniels makes it, which is really nice software. So you can get a free version, but uh, it's best just to buy the paid version. You get so many features with it. You can just search Paul Daniels board view software on Google. All right, so let's pull that up. All right, so this is the capacitor. No, that's not the capacitor, is it? Is that the, is that the capacitor? No, right here. So we're looking at this guy right here. C9002. So this is very important. All right, if we look at that on the actual schematic here. It's going to be this capacitor right here. Going to U900. PMIC and NAN. BCC. So I mean that thing looks cracked. Let's test and see if there's a short there. There's our dead short. No way. Zero point zero zero zero. That's our guy. You gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. You gotta just be you gotta be joking. One dang capacitor is gonna stop a, a twelve hundred dollar computer. Which even these boards, you can't even get them for like six, seven hundred dollars refurnished. Wow. And we found it just by looking. You gotta be kidding me. Let's take a look under a microscope again before we remove that bad guy. Corporate of stopping a MacBook from turning on. What is this? This is just like case of the PlayStation 5 almost. Where one capacitor stops the whole system from starting. Yeah, look at that. You can see those cracks. Wish my lighting was more. Let's see if I can get a flashlight on there. No, that's infrared. Let's see. I think my Milwaukee is going to be a little too bright for that. Now you can see that crack clear as day. But just by looking at it, with not, not a, on an angle, that's why I was angling the board too. That's why I angle the board a lot when I'm looking at components and stuff under the microscope to so find a short or see what component. Because you never know these crack, these capacitors do have a tendency to crack. 
not even a 10 cent part, so a 10 cent capacitor stopping the MacBook from turning on. Let's remove this capacitor and see if our short is there and if our computer will boot. So I don't want to use any air around this area because we have obviously some chips around there that are underfilled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the tweezers on this. To remove this. So we're going to take this capacitor off and just uh, test it with the meter. Go. We got the capacitor off. I'm gonna put the board out of the way. And I'm gonna try to get this component off here. Grab some tweezers. And we're gonna check this capacitor and see if there's an actual short on it. I mean look at that color on the one end. And I added even solder to that side. Alright, so let's take our meter. to be kidding me. You're joking me. Apple, really? That's just a poor design right there. <clears throat> so this capacitor is shorted out. So that's our problem there. Hopefully that's all it is. Let's just try plugging it in. We shouldn't need that capacitor. There's plenty of them on that rail. 
I mean, I'm going to replace it anyways. But let's plug this in. Remember, we're getting boot looping before no 20 volts. There we go. Come on. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Oh, it's staying on. Oh, we got 20 volts. Come on, Amperage. Woohoo! We got a fixed MacBook. Wow. Wow. You got to be kidding me. A 20, 20 cent, 10 cent, 5 cent part. Stopping over a thousand dollar MacBook from stop from working. And that short was, we'll go back on that rail. So I need to replace this with a 10 UF at 6.3 volts capacitor so I'm gonna replace the capacitor but there's plenty of other capacitors on that rail which nor we wouldn't even really have to worry about it but it's a customer's laptop so I'm gonna fix it the right way just replace it but if we look at the board view software here that capacitor goes to some important lines and we would have I mean if I would have injected some voltage into it who knows we probably wouldn't even fall that short on this capacitor right here shorting out Goes to all this stuff over here. So yeah, that's an important line. If it's being held down by a one little 10 cent capacitor, that is just ridiculous. Plug it back in. Twenty volts. There we go. So that one little stinking capacitor stopped the whole computer from turning on. So sad, so sad. Well, we got us a fixed MacBook. All right, so we got that capacitor off. Now we're gonna replace it. I got a donor board here. We look at board view for this board. We're looking for a 10 volt or 10 UF at 20% at 6.3 volts capacitor. Let's see. 
Well, I'm just gonna search it. Oh, no, I think I found one. Right here by the CPU area. You could just search. This is awesome software, thanks to Paul Daniels. You could purchase it. I'll provide a link in the description where you can get the software in case you need to fix a MacBook. And you can use the stuff for board views for like iPhones and stuff too. But pretty awesome software that he created, or he improved on and created. So if we're looking here at the schematic, this is the capacitor I just searched, but if we're looking down here, that's 10 UF. So that's gonna be this guy right here. Let's move this aside as our capacitor. Just making sure the capacitor looks nice and healthy. Let's look on our microscope. So we're going to remove that guy. Tweezers. So we got our capacitor on. Just making sure I didn't break the capacitor. Sure, it's 
shorter. Alright, we're good. Enough. Yeah, that's good enough. That's good. I'll just clean up our mess. go. Got it all nice and clean. Test to make sure we don't have a short. Oh, and we're getting a reading of zero. Zero point three five four. Where we were getting a dead short before. So that's replaced. Alright, so we're back. I got the computer all assembled. 
uh, put back together. There's obviously videos on YouTube showing you how to disassemble and take this apart and stuff. Didn't include that. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the power button, see if we get a dong and a screen. We got a dong. And we got a screen, so we got a working MacBook. Just off from a little capacitor. And the part's so small, just you can't even see it in my on my finger there. It's shining a little bit. Capacitor. Ten cent, five cent part. Stopped the whole computer from booting. It was shorted out, grounded. So we replaced that and now we got a working MacBook. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys get a chance, give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.